name is Wendy Hollander, and I am a botanical artist. We're going to work with these polychromo pencils today. And first thing I want you to do is pick up the dark sepia pencil, which you've all sharpened to a really nice point. And we're going to lay down our first layer of tone with the dark sepia to kind of describe the three-dimensional quality of the sphere. And then if I want, I can put a little bit more dark, but not too much yet, because the beauty of these pencils is you're going to go back and forth and change your tones. It's also nice to know that um, Faber-Castell is really considerate of these um, environmental issues as well. For example, the polychromos have a water-based varnish on them, which is very eco-friendly, which is nice. And then the oil-based pencils also are natural oil-based pencils. Most traditional color pencil kind of stops right now, right here, right? You see that? Most people would say, okay, I'm done, right? No, I'm just about halfway now. I want it to look brilliant, rich, deep color. And with these polychromos, you can get rich color, but you just have to keep going. I had been looking for a pencil that was um, had a good light fast rating. And having found these pencils, then I found all kinds of other properties that they have that made them even more desirable. I have a beautiful the whole set here of 120 colors. And like I said, it's a fabulous range of colors. And it, it really works well for just about anything I want to mix. And I'm going to put a layer of the yellow, mix it in with the green, and look and see. You have to look to see this happen, how it brightens the green. And that's what's beautiful about these pencils. You can slowly that blend and change your color. And the colors start to really, really get a rich blending effect, almost like paint at this point. But I'm able to have the control of the pencil to get to this stage. And what's also nice, because it's an oil-based pencil and not a wax-based pencil, it's not going to create this bloom on the surface. One thing I discovered about these pencils just by accident, which I was really happy to discover, is you can actually erase with these pencils in the early stages. And there's another line, the Albert Durer line of watercolor pencils that uses the same 120 colors. So I can get some of those pencils and lay down a layer first, add water so that I get a watercolor surface, and then I can work on top with the polychromos and the colors work and blend together. It's nice if you want to have a slight variation, and that watercolor allows you to do that. But now, the water will spread the pigment, and it's just working like any watercolor you might use, but you didn't have to sit there and uh, have a watercolor palette and paint and mix your color and get it just right. You can blend very easily. It's, it's, the pigment is strong and very, very stable. So it's not going to make these crumbs all over your paper, and it's not going to glob up. It's going to do it nicely, so you get a beautiful blend of color. So I'm going to show you how beautifully these pencils blend to create other colors. Basically, just put down like a half inch of yellow, and then start to feather it out and have it fade away to nothing. They can get strong contrast, and that's you know what most artists want to be able to achieve. I mean, I, I'm a fan of the pencil, but only because I love the pencil, you know. It just works so well for me.